This morning, I want to turn away from the news of the State of the Union and the war in Ukraine and talk about the business of sports. First, Major League Baseball announced that the first two series of the season are canceled because the owners and the players could not reach a deal on a new collective bargaining agreement. This is the first season with games canceled due to a labor dispute in 27 years. That's not a good thing for the sport. Yes, both owners and the players will point fingers at each other, but the real losers are the stadium workers now without work indefinitely, the bars, restaurants, restaurants and hotels around the ballparks that will lose money, and us, the fans. Baseball is already in decline. If MLB and the players don't reach an agreement soon, they risk further alienating an already dwindling fan base. Now to a story you might have missed yesterday. According to Sports Illustrated, the WNBA fined the New York Liberty $500,000 for arranging chartered flights to road games for its players. The league fined the Liberty because chartered flights violate the league's rule, which bans teams from making such travel arrangements. That alone is ridiculous, but the punishments that were considered but not implemented are even worse. According to Sports Illustrated, the league considered going as far as terminating the franchise for treating its players better than league rules allow. They don't want one team to have an advantage over the other. But did the Liberty break league rules? Yes. But in this case, maybe the rule is wrong. And for this to come out at the start of Women's History Month is a bad look for the WNBA, a league where all of its players are women. We need to support and invest in women, and a rule that prohibits women's basketball teams from doing that is not it. Have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow.